help you guide. I do, Senator. Just have a chair. <coughs> do these flash bulbs? Now you paid a man by the name of Chick Farmer fifty dollars to stop publicity of Roosevelt in New York, and that was Colonel Roosevelt, was it? That's right. Uh, now you said that could be explained very easily. Will you explain it? We were in, a, in the El Morocco club there, and the photographer started to take our picture. Mr. Roosevelt said he didn't care to have his picture taken. This fellow rather insisted on it. And I talked to Mr. Farmer, who was the publicity director of El Morocco, and he said he would see that it did not appear. And I gave him well, $50 to see that it didn't appear. Was there any dispute? No, of course uh, Between not. Colonel Roosevelt and the photographer? Oh, no, none at all. You, you merely paid uh, Chick Farmer uh, $50 to keep uh, Colonel Roosevelt's picture from being printed that That's was taken. Right. That's right. I assume then the photographer took it and uh, uh, this was to keep it from being published. I'm not sure whether he took it or not. And maybe he didn't take it. Maybe well, he was just asked not to take it. Well, then what'd you pay the $50 for? To have Mr. Farmer ask the photographer not oh, to take to the picture. Oh, ask the farmer not to take it. Or, if it was taken, to ask him not for the plate. Not to print it. That is correct. Well, don't you think it was the latter, not to print it? That's... that's you're surmising. I couldn't say. All I right. can't remember that now, far back. Now, as a matter of fact, you never saw that picture printed. Not to my knowledge. Now, would that be a picture just of the colonel, or would it be a picture of the party? that you didn't want printed. I haven't any idea of that either. Might have been a picture of him going to the men's room. <laughs> it could have been a picture at the table. I don't know. Ann Hoover, Faye Emerson, Janet Thomas, and Mr. and Mrs. William Pope. It says, Miss Emerson, cash to travel home, $20. Yes. Well, now, can you tell me why you were charging up to aircraft production $132 for nylon hose for Miss Emerson. Because she'd been very charming. <laughs> Just like the presence up higher. The girls were very pleasant. What has that got to do with aircraft production? They just went along. Every company in the business did it. We're no different. Well, but is it, you say because she was very charming, that's the reason that you charged up $132. That's right. For the, which would go into the production of airplanes. Right. And now, will you tell us why you gave her $20 and charged it up to the company to go home if she was very charming? Well, <laughs> you topped me. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Point one. <laughs> I'll concede that. Uh, you Ms. haven't Emerson. got an answer to that last <laughs> no, question. No, I haven't. I, I must right. admit you taught me. All right, you've um, got an answer. The next day before this committee, <clears throat> that you'll tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Just have a chair. Item is... Uh, and uh, I know that I'm not big enough or important enough uh, in this country or in the armed services or in the overall contract uh, uh, procurement picture to have been responsible uh, for all of the attention that is paid to me unless it so happened that I had some rather intimate relationships with uh, the man who was chief executive at that same time and in charge of the carrying out the operation of the war. And there are efforts to find out whether there was any connection that I might have had with the chief executive which might have had an effect on any war contracts. And I'm here to give you the complete facts so that we would have to move out. General, uh, were, these, uh, were these your parties when uh, Mr. Myers said uh, there was a... Right, isn't it? that if he obtained this money, put it in his pocket, and didn't spend it on you, well, I don't it's a serious that, matter. Uh, that I have stated that he obtained this money and put it in his pocket uh, with regard to, to this Pennsylvania Railroad Company thing at all. Well, what because about Because it is undoubtedly true that he bought some tickets to, uh, New, uh, from New York to Washington 
But I still want you to put the question to him, was he completely positive that one of those tickets was for Elliot Roosevelt? Well, I'll put it right to him now. Mr. Mars, what do you say? Look at that sheet. You, you told us about them being lost and buying the fares back. Now, what do you say about it? Well, just what it says here. It says Colonel Elliot Roosevelt party. Yeah. So I didn't testify that he was one of them. He could have, could have been one of the other fellows. Say that under the word Elliot Roosevelt party? Right there, I don't know.